All right, I got my uh, bench tops squared up. I'm going to make a, uh, what I've done here is I've measured uh, 12 inches in from this end on center with this leg. Uh, the reason for that is I'm allowing two feet for each person to sit. And you don't want this leg too far inside. Uh, then this thing, if somebody sits right on the end here, it becomes like a teeter-totter. So I think at 12 inches I'm good. So I've laid a, a, a spacer block here, or a reference block, made marks where I'm going to put dominoes. So I'll plunge off of this edge, then this becomes the bottom, and I'll plunge in this way, and then that should line up perfectly. So I'll do that four times. The other thing I want to do is when I get done doing that, is build a brace here to uh, keep this from from wobbling. I realized I need my quarter inch spacer to uh, get the offset I want so that I land in the center of my leg. So I'm doing, I'm doing this part this way. Line up my mark on my line of the, of the domino, push it away Drop in the spacer, pull it tight, keeping it the same distance, and now I should be good to go. So it goes this way. Get a couple dominoes and see how we did here. Beautiful. Twelve inches on center. Oh, you're not seeing that. Back down here. So I'm twelve inches on center, right where I wanted it to be. My center line is lined up. That's good. Well, nothing glued up yet, but that's going to be nice. That's a it's a nice height. I did. Uh, I should actually measure it. Seventeen and three quarter about. Yeah. Nice height. Oh, that'll work out nice. And this is uh, you know wider than a typical bench. This is 14 wide. I kind of like that too. Alright, I'll get the other, I'll get the other uh, bench done.
I'm going to make a story stick to determine my brace here. It's just a simple 45 cut on each end. But in order to determine the, uh, the, the long cut uh, this way, what I do is take my tri-square here, get it about a little bit less maybe, right in there, then bring it up to the line. This intersection I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm going to say right about there and then strike that line. Now that's my that's my top line. So I'm going to drop it down this way. Like so. And that should give me my cut line right there. So I'll make that cut and then we'll see how we did here. Alright, that looks good. So I'll make uh, two braces, this being my long cut here. Alright, I got my braces cut uh, for, to go this way. And the, the one that goes on this leg is already clamped up. So I've got my lines. I've got to take this off. And what I'm going to do is match up my center line with this line and my perpendicular line with this face. And that will give me my location for these two. This one over here, because I have this spacer on, I'll show you my workaround. I've got, uh, if you can see them back there, I've got two pieces that I made for my uh, MFT table here that have 20 millimeter holes in them to give me a one, two, or three inch offset. And um, I'm using those two holes to take up this right here with these um, uh, thumb screws that uh, hold this spacer in place. So those are uh, uh, half inch Baltic birch or 12 millimeter Baltic birch and then I've got the piece propped up on a, on a piece of half inch or 12 millimeter. So let's make these cuts and then we'll see how it goes together.
got away from me a little bit. I didn't have it clamped tight. I should be okay though. Doesn't yeah, I do too. I've got this reversed. on this to make sure I put it together the correct way. Yeah, that made all the difference in the world. That fits perfectly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. I like that. And that'll be nice and, nice and sturdy. So the lesson also learned there is that this is going to have to be fastened here first and then drop uh, this as one piece onto the bench. So I'll make marks uh, denoting which piece goes with which leg, but I'll do the other three in the same fashion. Then I can uh, take it apart and round over all the edges. All right, I know this isn't the greatest thing to be doing, but that's the top. It's put together laying on its side. Uh, just got done with I don't know, three, four hours of sanding, not on the top, but the whole project. But uh, it went together nicely after I had uh, sanded it. So you can see the connections here. Uh, this piece connected to the top. And then the, the X legs connected to the brace. Uh, worked out really nice. So the, these are slotted. You can see one of the slots kind of peeking through right there. The top and bottom are slotted. This is a, a single hole right in the middle of the top. So it'll be able to move uh, with, with the seasons. And then I got the uh, cross brace here held by two quarter inch bolts. Yeah, on each end, so it gives it that uh, trestle table look. And that turned out really nice as well. So it does come apart, which is the good news for easy transportation and hauling it up to her... I can't remember if it's a second or third floor deck, but at any rate, it's good to go. Let me show you the benches here. Uh, 14 inches wide, 6 feet long. Uh, you can see the uh, legs underneath there and let me stand one of these up show you the bracing so you can see there I've got uh, I do it's dominoed but I used a screw through the brace uh, like a clamp so that it is it is rock solid and it turned out, these turned out pretty nice as well. Nice and solid, very sturdy. No wiggle to them at all anymore. And uh, looking, looking forward to delivering this to my daughter. That little ding you just heard was from her. Because I sent her a text and some pictures of the finished project. So that's it for, the, for this one. Thanks for watching.